Hi, Dr. Vicki Peterson here. I want to tell you about a really exciting addition to our practice, and that is genetic testing. We've been doing it for close to a couple of years now, but um, you know, when you're first doing something new, you want to do it for a while and really make sure that you like it, and of course it's bringing value. That's what it's all about. So. It's, there's an interesting expression when it comes to genetics, which is genetics loads the gun and your environment lifestyle pulls the trigger. So simply what that means is that obviously a loaded gun, if nobody's touching it, is not going to do anything. Um, yet when you add your environment and lifestyle, that's when the genes can express themselves. So as an example, uh, celiac disease is a disease where 40% of Americans have the genetics for it, but the expression in people is between one and five percent. So you can have a gene for something, but that doesn't mean it's going to be expressed. So that's what they mean by environment or lifestyle, you know, pulling the quote unquote trigger. Uh, however, when that environment has pulled the trigger, then what you're looking at is some pretty severe health dilemmas that can really only be addressed. Well, I shouldn't say that. It can be addressed by everything we've always done plus genetics. So what we would run into is patients that would go from here to here, uh, but then of course we wanted to take them to the next step and we kind of ran into this barrier. So it turns out that that barrier in many cases is genetics. And a good way to, to think about it is that imagine you, you're, you are a truck <laughs> driving across a bridge, that's you and your body, uh, and the bridge is, you know, it's there, it's structurally sound, but it's not perfect. So that's your genetics. So your genetics, you get little defects from mom and dad, they're called SNPs, and if you have enough of them, um, you know, they kind of set you up for some frailties, but as long as that truck that's going across the bridge is not too heavy, uh, those frailties are never noticed, you know, and so that truck can go back and forth across that bridge, it's not too heavy, and those little structural uh, frailties of that bridge will never come to the surface. But then you start adding more and more to your truck. So your diet isn't the best, and you have stress, and you're exposed to chemicals, and you have had a lot of antibiotics, and you know, you're just adding more and more to that truck of yours, and then one day the, the truck falls through down off the bridge because the bridge collapses and that collapse would be uh, a moment of uh, disease diagnosis, etc. So something severe happening to your health. So those genetic frailties had always been there, it's just you got too overburdened and then they really expressed themselves, they became very, very noticeable. So what we've always done is we've been about unloading the truck, meaning improving your diet and looking for issues in, in the gut and the nervous system and the immune system and dealing with heavy metals and infections and you know food sensitivities and hormonal imbalance and all of those things kind of unburden the truck. And I can tell you a quick story about myself, which was when I was young, I had terrible health and my mother was exactly the same way, so talk about genetics. Um, so my, uh, my expression of ill health happened very, very early in life, but then started doing, of course, what we do here at Root Cause, some of the things I just mentioned, and even though the genetics were still there, I unburdened that truck enough that those symptoms went away and I enjoyed very good health. So my genetics didn't change, but I unburdened myself enough that I could really achieve desired health. So, and that's for the most part what we've been doing with patients for almost three decades is just unburdening enough and then getting to that point where they can enjoy good health, like me. What I did was enough to get myself back to uh, very ideal health, but for some, that genetic expression is, is so severe that you have to come in with very tailor-made nutrition to kind of compensate for that defect. So let me use an easy example. Imagine somebody had um, a vitamin D deficiency and uh, it's very important to have strong vitamin D levels and you're giving them a very good quality vitamin D supplement, they're taking it and their vitamin D is not changing at all and it's in this dangerously low level they could have a genetic defect that doesn't allow them to turn 
uh, the vitamin D they're taking into the active form that the body can utilize. So this is just an example. So then what you would do is you would come in with that active form so that they could then utilize it for their, for their improved health. So we see this in areas of detoxification, methylation, so many different areas of health, hormonal balance, and doing the genetic testing shows us these areas of genetic frailties that you can compensate for nutritionally and it has just been so exciting to see these kind of tough cases all solved uh, with this last piece of the puzzle. So for some people this impacts them more than others, um, so it kind of depends on the individual, but it's something uh, is not too hard to figure out. Of course, you can do the test, and then also, if somebody comes in and says, everybody in the family has thyroid disease, or everybody has heart disease on both sides of my family, and you, you can kind of see that there's a strong genetic predisposition in certain areas. Uh, children on the spectrum, this has been a very, very valuable um, piece of information and this new testing that we've been doing because it's made huge differences in children on the spectrum. Uh, people with Alzheimer's disease is another area, talk about from little kids to more elderly patients and, and really everything in between. So you'll be hearing more about this, more specifics, but I wanted to give you the overview because it's something that really as we've been working with it um, much more intensively is a good word uh, the past six eight months really seeing these dramatic changes so I wanted to share that with you that that's a, another facet of our clinic and uh, if you need help in that arena please let us know so reach out the telephone number here is 408-733-0400 you can call we can do a consultation make sure we're a good fit for one another or visit us at the website rootcausemedical.com. I'll see you soon.